Welcome. Good morning. I want to welcome you to our Zion Lutheran Church devotional outdoor worship on this 10th Sunday after Pentecost. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, in your Son you have given great and precious promises to all who believe. Grant us faith that overcomes all doubts. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 14. Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with the song, What Wondrous Love. Oh, 
grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the gospel lesson for today, Jesus spoke to the disciples and he said, Take heart, it is I, and do not be afraid. Well, as you all know, we had quite a storm earlier this week on Tuesday. There was quite a strong wind. I don't mind a gentle breeze. Even this morning, a gentle breeze will feel pretty good. But this was not a gentle breeze. Some of you lost power. A few of you may have sustained some damage to your property. And most of you had a mess of branches to clean up in your yard. So it was quite a storm. It was quite a wind. Boy, is that wind strong. I stood outside the front door of the parsonage for a little while. I was amazed at how strong that wind was. You know, that's the same kind of thing the disciples probably were thinking when they were on that boat crossing the sea. Wow, that wind is certainly strong. It was against them, and it made travel pretty difficult. And as they were struggling to get across the sea, fighting the wind and dealing with those waves, all of a sudden they saw something walking on the water. It caused them to be afraid. These men began to shout out in fear. This text says they thought it was a ghost. Well, it wasn't. It was Jesus. And immediately Jesus said to them, Take heart, it is I, don't be afraid. You know, those are words that we need to hear sometimes in life. That he's there. Take heart, don't be afraid. We need that faith. We need to trust. I love what Peter does in the gospel lesson. He says, Lord, if it is you, command me to step out of the boat on the water and come to you. Now, I think about that, and I keep wondering in my head, what got into Peter to make that kind of request? All he could have said is, hey, prove it. Come here, let me see you a little bit closer or something. But no, he, he wants to get out of the boat and walk on the water to Jesus where Jesus was walking on the water. In a way, you could say that that step that he took out of the boat was a step of faith because Jesus told him, come, and he did. He came. He stepped out of the boat, and he was walking on the water, a step of faith. He had to trust in the words of our Lord when the Lord said to him, come. You know, we need to take that step of faith in life, too, a kind of step that simply puts our trust in the words of the Lord. Because too often, we might want to do it our own way or think about our own way. You know, we don't have the power sometimes to deal with the, the pressures of life. Sometimes life itself is like a huge wind against us. And so Peter took that step. And he was walking on the water to the Lord. Not by his own power, but by the power that was granted to him by Jesus. But what happened was Peter lost his focus and put his faith aside. He became distracted and began to look at the wind and the waves. And then he began to sink. Sometimes we do that too. Our faith can easily waver or become distracted by the pressures, the things against us in life. We look at the things around us and we focus on that instead of Jesus. And that's what can get us into trouble. But the good thing about Peter is he didn't forget the Lord. He cried out to Jesus, Lord, save me. And he did. The Bible says immediately Jesus reached out his hand. He didn't wait around. He could have said, you know, Peter, I'm just going to let you sink for a while. But he didn't do that. Immediately he reached out his hand, took hold of Peter, and said, you have little faith. Why did you doubt? And he reminds us today, why do you doubt? Well, sometimes we do. But he is there to reach out, to hold us by his hand, to take our hands, lead us, as he led Peter back to the boat, into the boat, and then he calmed the wind and the waves. I pray that Jesus will also remind you of his presence in your life, to calm you no matter what headwinds may be against you. 
to give you the strength to take those steps of faith, to walk by faith, not by sight, and always to put your hope and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And right now, we're getting a nice gentle breeze. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, so keep your hearts and minds through faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. The altar flowers this weekend are given by Susan Brady in honor of the birthdays of Summer, Matthew, Caitlin, Valerie, and Jay, and in honor of the third wedding anniversary of Matthew and Caitlin. The eternal light is lit by Margaret Pizal in loving memory of Alfred Beauregard Sr. And in our prayers, we pray for Karen Persinowski's mother, who had a fall, and for Karen's sister-in-law's brother in rehab recovering from a broken neck. For the family of Robert Erdos, who passed away this week, the friends of Susan and Gary Cosgrove, and for Susan and Bob, friends of Susan and Gary Cosgrove, as Bob is under the doctor's care in a convalescent home. For George, as he continues chemotherapy. For Kelly, that she received good test results. And for Tammy, for healing. With that in mind, let us pray. Lord, you revealed your power when you approached your disciples walking on the water. Remind us today that you are truly the Son of God, our Savior. When Peter was in distress, sinking into turbulent waters, you reached out to save him. Reach out to us in our own distress and lift us up into the arms of your mercy. When we seem surrounded by uncertainties and danger, Help us to focus on Jesus, not on the storm. We pray for those who are under the doctor's care, for Karen's mother, as well as the brother of her sister-in-law, for Susan and Bob, for George, for Kelly, and for Tammy. For those we have named before you today, have mercy on them. Keep them all in your gracious and merciful heart and grant them healing and good medical care. Lord, we bring to you our personal prayers as we speak to you in our hearts in this moment of silence. And for the family of Robert Erdos at his death, bring comfort and solace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. We conclude by singing the hymn, Lord, take my hand and lead me.
bless your day and have a wonderful week.